Hello everyone, my name is Auro and welcome to the 21st devlog of my base building game, Chambers of Devious Design. In this devlog, I'll be talking about the trailer I recently made for the game, some AI changes and a bunch of other miscellaneous things. Okay, let's get into it. Alright, maybe let's start with the trailer I made. First of all, if you haven't seen it yet, it's on my channel, so go check it out. So yeah, I figured it was about time to make a trailer for the game. Maybe I should have made one a bit sooner, but better late than never, right? I didn't really have any like great ideas for what kind of a trailer to make, but then I found this like funny little bit in my like game dev assets folder. So I figured I just use that as the base and just just slap clips on top of it and yeah I think it turned out all right you can always do better but I'm happy with this one for now at least I can always make a new one for the release if I want but I don't know yeah I'm pretty happy with this one making the trailer took quite a bit of time and then I spent a bit of extra time to post it everywhere so YouTube and then I had a Reddit post and I also made a Chinese version of the trailer which I posted on this site called Billy Billy. But <laughs> I don't know if you can see but it only has 14 views so yeah it didn't do well on there. I don't know Chinese so I was just using Google Translate on my phone to like understand what I was doing there. Maybe I did something wrong since it's not viewed so much but yeah I don't know. Then, since I have heard many great things about TikTok for marketing games, so I decided to give that a try also and post a trailer there. It got something like a bit over 300 views, which I assume is not that good, but I'm not complaining. But one thing I would like to complain about is, I don't know, I don't, yeah, yeah, you can't see this at all, but I'll post a screenshot on there like, video itself. So what I noticed is that on TikTok, whatever you post seems to be like region specific. So as you can see, when I post a trailer, like almost 90% of the views are from Finland and well, nothing against my fellow countrymen and countrywomen, but it's not really my target group, so to say. I mean, I don't know how many people are in Finland who use TikTok and are interested in games like mine. So as you might realize, <laughs> this is not really ideal. Like, I don't know if you would have gotten any more views or attention if I had posted in on like in USA, but I figured the chances would at least be better. If some of you have experiences about using TikTok for marketing your game outside of USA, I would love to hear how you have fared. Currently I'm a bit bummed since I had some ideas for videos on TikTok, but I don't know if it's just... <laughs> I don't know if it's worth the trouble since if I can only target like my own country and maybe the neighboring countries a bit, but yeah, I don't know. Probably not worth the trouble, I feel like. I checked my wishes for the past few days after posting the trailer, but I didn't really see anything like noticeable there. Maybe something like five wishlists in total from posting the trailer everywhere. So, I mean, every little bit helps, but yeah, it didn't really have any noticeable impact, I feel like. But yeah, that's. I did need a trailer, so it was not wasted time. And I also used the opportunity to update the GIFs on my page also and make some like content to post on Twitter, other chiefs and yeah, things like that. Okay, then let's get into the actual game, what I have made there. So one of the big things I spent time on the last two weeks uh, was improving the AI. It has been quite a bit of time since I touched the AI last time. So there were many like updates I needed to do teach the AI how to use the like new room effects and, and and yeah abilities but yeah I spent 
quite a bit of time working on the AI and I think it's pretty cool how it works but it's hard to show also and the code is really messy so but basically there are like many many of these small things that affect the like decision making the AI will consider things like how many doors can it close by placing one block can it block enemy like room placement uh, can it fulfill demands? Can it complete rooms? Will the room hinder the AI's own placement? Is the AI running out of doors? Or maybe it has too many doors? Is some player close to winning the game? And things like that, yeah. Lots of small things that make up the like whole value, which room to pick at any given point of time. It's not really perfect. There are like many things I could improve with it still but I feel like it should be good enough. Of course, I'm sure that when I release the game or like put out the demo, <laughs> there will be some like hardcore players that will break the AI on the first day and like learn how to exploit it and yeah. But I think that's inevitable. I just hope that I will then be able to <laughs> fix all the issues. Then I also added a difficulty variable to the AI. So how it works is basically that the like hardest level of the difficulty is the optimal placement of rooms as far as the AI is capable. But then as you lower the difficulty, the AI basically gets sloppier. It will not pick the first option, at least not always, but then it might pick the like third best or even like tenth best <laughs> if it's not too good. One thing that I'm proud of is that I haven't had the need to like teach the AI how to cheat to make it more difficult. Like I don't know if it seems like the hardest difficulty is like still too easy for a lot of players. <laughs> I might have to teach the AI how to cheat to make it a bit more challenging but but yeah I hope it doesn't have to come to that. Then in preparation for the Steam Nextfest demo, which will be in like three to four weeks, three weeks, yeah. I'm gonna be in a bit of a hurry, I think. So yeah, I added some Steam stats in the game. What I'm most interested in is how many people like try out the demo or well actually this one, like how many people install the demo and then play at least one game. And the reason why I am interested in that is that I figured that once I release like the full game, then I can compare the amount of like sales and check like how many of the people who tried, the, tried out the demo actually bought the actual full release game. So that will give me valuable information for how good of an idea putting out the demo actually was like I can easily see how many wishlist the like Steam Next Fest demo will give me but that does not give the like full picture like how many of those wishlists actually realize into sales but this should be a nice way for me to like get some more accurate data on that then I also have a bunch of other stats I added like this games won and games lost by the difficulty. I don't really know if this will be <laughs> very useful but I figured it's a <clears throat> it's easy data to collect so it will be interesting to see like if for example if I see that the master difficulty has like a thousand <laughs> wins and zero losses then I will be a bit like curious like hmm is it is it way too easy? Then while collecting gameplay for the trailer, <laughs> I noticed a bunch of new bugs that I didn't know about, so I had to spend quite a bit of time fixing those, but luckily fixing bugs can be really satisfying also. One bug that I'm really happy about finding first of all and then fixing is, is this bug related to these red rooms? So the completion effect for the red room is to activate the effect of a neighboring room. But what if you have one red room that is 
only neighbored by other red rooms. I have a check that it like won't activate because it would result in a loop. But there actually was a like game breaking bug that if you did this, then the game would crash because it would be searching for a like viable neighboring room to activate, but it could never find one. So yeah, it, <laughs> I'm really happy that first of all I was somehow able to like find this exact situation while testing out and then it was actually quite easy to find the solution when I had like this video clips I recorded for the trailer so I could see like okay yeah that looks a bit curious like I had no idea the red rooms was the cause but yeah I tried it out and it was the it was the right hunch then I also did some like small changes here and there and added some options but those are not really too exciting to show so I won't go into those but yeah the Steam Next Fest is in three weeks and I need to finish up the demo before that I'm pretty confident I will make it I'm hoping that I actually will be able to finish the demo in like one week but you never know like what kind of bugs you run into and have to fix before that but I'm really hoping I will make it nicely in time for the demo I'm already a bit like worried like how many bugs will the public demo like give me to fix like will it delay my release a few months just just from fixing all the bugs but but yeah hopefully not all right but hey that's everything I have for this devlog if you have some feedback I would love to hear it all right thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one